So today, after you finish doing your assigned reading, we are going to revisit a topic that we touched on last week to open up our discussion boards on Thursday around character struggle. Why are we revisiting it? Because that's really the essence of all these books. It's a motif that stands out, that connects all four LBG options in this coming of age unit. And so as we are now 75, 100 pages beyond where we were mid last week, I thought it was a great time to revisit how our character is coping with that struggle. How are they either evolving and adapting to it or they're still held back because of it? So you may wanna to touch on the same struggle that you posted on Canvas last week in your first discussion post, or because the book has moved on and things have changed, maybe you tackle something different. It's completely up to you. But the prompt here says simply, what is the most significant struggle your protagonist has had in the novel so far? Should be about two thirds in, somewhere around there, right? How are they dealing with it? And what do you think they'll need to do to overcome it? Or if they are already starting to overcome it, how will they continue to do so? Or what could be another obstacle in the way? To the last third of your book so you might be projecting forward making a prediction as well you're going to aim for eight to ten sentences and include text evidence i would like a quote somewhere in there that touches on that struggle that your character is dealing with and if you feel like the cqa form is the best way to go about this it's the best way to organize this information please do that a lot of you are comfortable with that and you've been doing it with your responses since we've gone virtual so keep rolling with it you're going to have to write in that form next year so Practice makes perfect on that. If you need a quick refresher on the CQA format because you're interested in practicing that and doing that again, I have a link below here in the yellow to my exemplar from September I wrote around two die of a part-time Indian. The topic of that CQA though is around theme. So um, you're not gonna be writing about theme. It may connect to struggle, but you are gonna be focusing on what that character struggle is in your book. So that will be the prompt, that will be the claim, the opening sentence of your response is tell me what that struggle is and then go into analyzing. Include text evidence, but also analyze uh, you know, why it's important. What does it connect to with another part of the book? Uh, what are some predictions or uh, inferences moving forward on what's gonna happen next with your protagonist? So uh, whether it's Melinda and Speak, whether it's Darius and Darius and Twig, uh, Stargirl with Leo, uh, or possibly in Tangerine with Paul, I'd like you to touch on that character struggle. Now, some of you may be wondering, can I do a secondary character in their struggle? Yeah, you can. I know I have protagonists in the prompt, but if you'd like to go and do a secondary character you're really connected with, that you feel like you can write and elaborate on, feel free to do so, okay? That's it for today. You're simply gonna read, and then you're gonna respond to your reading with a quick prompt on struggle. Tomorrow, we'll be opening up a new discussion board and talking about a brand new topic related to your book as we get closer to the tail end here. I'll be around my computer all day if you have any questions. I do have to bring the RAV4 in for a little checkup, but I should be around with my phone at the very least. If you have any questions, give me a holler. And if you have any questions, if you're in my core one and you're wondering about that meeting on Thursday that I have on the opening slide, uh, feel free to reach out about that as well, okay? Talk to you guys soon. Be back here tomorrow for a typical routine. Hope everyone's staying safe. We'll see you soon.